We all know that space is the final frontier, but where exactly does it begin? It's a pretty simple question with a complicated answer. The most common definition of space is known as the Carmine Line, an imaginary boundary 100 kilometers above the mean sea level. The atmosphere at this altitude is so thin that it couldn't provide enough lift for a conventional aircraft to maintain flight. That is why the Federation Aeronautique Internationale uses the Carmine Line as a way to determine flight from space flight. However, the US military and NASA define space flight at 50 miles above the mean sea level. That's 12 miles below the Carmine Line. The difference causes a little bit of confusion sometimes. For example, the X-15 hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft made 13 flights over 50 miles in altitude, but only two of those flights broke the Carmine line and are internationally recognized as space flights. Recently, scientists with the University of Calgary launched the Suprathermal Ion Imager, an instrument that measures the transition between the relatively gentle winds of Earth's atmosphere and the more violent flows of charged particles in space. With this instrument, they calculated the edge of space at about 118 kilometers above Earth. So, where does space begin? Well, it depends on who you ask.